What is even, I don't even know what my life is about today. Nothing wants to work for me. Are your, are your dogs shedding? Is your dog like shedding so much that you like want to throw your entire life away? Is it just, is it just my dog that's shedding? Cause I think my dog is like part chow and she is shedding so bad right now. And we live in this tiny box for like six weeks at a time. So it's just it's so much for me right now. I just, oh my gosh, it's taken everything. It's giving me a lot of anxiety and I'm just like already an anxious person anyways. And usually I have like health anxiety. So like usually things like my dog shedding wouldn't really bother me, but oh, good I cannot wait for it to be like midwinter. So she stops shedding. It's like fall and spring. Kill me now. Anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You came back. Thank you for joining me in another video of Rachel likes to do shit to her nails. In this week's video, what I have for you is I'm going to do some really cute little leaf decals on my nails and I'm starting to lean into some more like Christmas type of Manny. I really like these decals. I got them from the glam shop, which I've talked about before, and I'll link down below um, where I got these decals. Um, hopefully it's easy for you guys to follow along and you can do it. Decals are very, very similar to chunky glitters. It's basically the exact same thing, but I do think that decals sometimes lay flatter and you can like stick them to your nails so that it's like kind of easier to work with. I kind of struggle with them a little bit, which is, you know, fun. But in the end, it turns out cute. It's like probably actually one of my favorite manis I've ever done. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. So that's what I did on my other hand. So I'm wearing Ginger and Victoria, all from Revel. Um, I'm just going to show you how I stuck these on. I put the first ones on and they kind of stuck up a little bit. Um, so now it's a little wonky and thick because I didn't want to like buff too much and then like buff off the sticker because these are essentially their sticker, their decals, but they're basically just stickers. So what I'm going to do this time to like help is I'm going to just take a very thin layer of base. I'm going to use the IL-21 base and I'm um, just going to like very thin. So I'm like wiping it off on both sides just to like very, very, very thin. Put it on there. just to help it stick down a little bit. I'm not getting it perfect either because, I mean, obviously I'm trying to stay away from my cuticles and all that stuff, but I really just am trying to put it on to help it stick down. And then I have some like mini tweezers to help me pull them up off. Um, you've gotta be real careful taking them off because they're so little and thin that the first one I took off, I kind of broke it and I just wiggled it a little bit just to get it off. And I'm just gonna stick it right on the bottom here. Oops. Get off the tweezers. Really stuck to the tweezers. I'm gonna take a toothpick. Hopefully that. Y'all can see me struggle so that you know. Struggling is just part of nail art. Oh, come on. When all else fails, just use your hands. And then I'm just gonna try and get that positioned nicely where I want it on my finger and then just stick it down as best I can. I'm just kind of like looking at my other hand. Where did I put it? It's about right. So then just stick it down as best you can. Try and get all the corners down. Just like you do with like glitter pieces. So I'm just like rolling the toothpick on top of it to try and just stick it down. And it's sticking down pretty well. I mean, it's standing up over here and I don't understand why it's doing that. So I'm just gonna pull it out. 
I figured these decals would be easier. I don't know why they're being so difficult with sticking, but they have kind of given me a pain. Okay, let's get the second one on. Sometimes it's easier to grab from the bottom. Give it a little wiggle. They like super stick to the tweezers. kind of rubbing it to try and get it to stick. See if it helps a little bit. And it was giving me these issues um, with it not being on uh, base, just being straight on the dip powder. It was kind of sticking up like this too. I should do is I should buff the nail to get it to be a flat smooth surface. The decals will stick much better on a smooth surface so just buff lightly and then make sure to get all the debris off with your kabuki brush and maybe use a limb free wipe just to be absolutely sure there's nothing on there. Once I have my decals exactly where I want them I should use my hand to kind of warm up the adhesive so that they adhere better and then do a dip of clear. Let's get back into it. Worst comes to worst they stand up and you dip clear over and then it is what it is. It's odd that it's sticking really well in some places and not in others. Right, I think it's stuck down as well as it's going to. All right, and then encapsulate and clear. Quickly. <laughs> and the best thing to do if it's kind of sticking up on you is to maybe give it two dips of clear so that you can like buff really well and not really worry about messing them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stick it down a little bit more. Okay, so I held that down and it does look like it was a little bit better. But I'm going to dust this off really, really well and then I'm going to do a second dip of clear. Just so I can buff as well as I want to. And this is me a secret acrylic powder or that you get off of Amazon, so I've never had an issue with it not being clear. 
I know some clear powders are like not really clear. pretty like flat now so I should be able to like buff it is quite thick but I'll be able to fluff it I'll be able to buff it all flat so that it's not so bad so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna dip the rest of my fingers in clear I'm gonna buff I'm gonna top coat and then I'll be back with picture so I've buffed oh shit <laughs> okay so I've buffed my nails and forgive my very dry cuticles and all of that stuff. And I threw some activator on, but I wanted to show you guys something so that you can learn from my mistakes. I, on this hand, I put the decals on. I did not put base on. I just put it straight on top of the dip powder and I stuck them down as best I can. And then I did a, a coat of clear um, and then I buffed it all flat but I didn't buff it too much because I didn't, you saw it was like wonky, but I didn't want to like buff the flowers. So I buffed it. And then I did this hand, I stuck them down on top of base. And then I did two dips of clear. And then I came back and did another dip of clear after I had buffed on this one and then buffed that out just to make it smoother and not quite as like crazy. That is a little bit still. And they both are not like perfectly shaped because you know, I'm trying to be careful to not um, buff off the sticker but I wanted you guys to see the difference do you see how clear this one is and how this one kind of has some like it's not as clear as you can see I mean it might look different once I top coat it but I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking for now like this one is quite clear and this one is not so yeah one more time once I now that I've got it top coated and just show you how it turned out and you can't really tell a difference you can kind of tell a difference like that one definitely has more of those like little white marks on it or a little I don't know what to call it um, and this one really doesn't well, it has some, but it doesn't have as many. Um, so yeah, but they don't look all that different. So what did you guys think? Was it, was that, did you think that was easy or was that easier? Or was that more difficult looking than using chunky glitters? Was it about the same? Like, what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So go ahead and drop me a comment. Like this video if you liked it. If you want to see more of my face and more things that I do to my nails. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next week. be comfortable. Why are you so weird? <laughs>